to be our guest. Join us in the FX apartment and have an item appraised. All you have to do is give us a call at 1-800-FX-FX-FX-1. This weekend, there's going to be a vintage bicycle auction. It's in Copake, New York, which is in Columbia County, and they're going to be auctioning off some incredible vintage bicycles. And uh, here to talk to us about this auction and about these bicycles is the auctioneer. Michael Fallon has joined us. Mike, how are you doing, sir? Great, John. Thanks for having me. Now, in the auction, you're going to have bikes that are about 100 years old and some memorabilia and stuff? Yeah, 100 years old, right up to the modern bike we have some racing bikes we have a bike that uh, won the Olympics actually no kidding yeah now, this should be great so let's talk about some of the older ones you got right tell me about this one here this is a bone shaker <laughs> 1850 to 1860 uh, blacksmith built sometimes built by factories made in America this particular one now these were these were hard to work and they're called bone shakers because yeah. literally they if you had ridden this one in, you would understand why they were <laughs> called a bone shaker. They literally will jar you to death. You know? Generally speaking, the, the value of something like this today? Twenty-five to thirty-five hundred. No kidding. And, yeah. and, and back then, and when was this? And back then, how much was it then? Well, I guess you'd have to figure that a man in 1850 probably made a dollar or two a week, right? Uh-huh. That's right. All yeah. right. So Here's another older one, but the wheels have changed. What's happening here, Mike? High wheel bike. Uh, sometimes called ordinaries. These bikes uh, were built as a, as a progression. Uh -huh. And the higher the wheel, the faster they went, but you had to be taller to ride them, too. You, you really did, right? This size fits me. This is a 48-inch. Were a lot of people riding these back then? Yeah, they, they really, uh, it was a big trend. Bicycling was much more important then than it is now. Interesting. Yeah. And, and uh, generally speaking, do you know the value of this one? $100. A hundred dollars back then. <laughs> All right. Now fifteen to twenty-five hundred. No kidding. A hundred dollars yeah. back then. That was a lot of money. Yeah, it was a lot of money. Yeah. All right. Let's head over. Oh, what is this one here? Okay. Well, that was an ordinary. This is a safety ordinary. All right. When you rode this bike and you hit a bump, you did a header. Uh huh. This bike, they put the front wheel out so that when you hit a bump, you didn't do a header. So this is called a safety ordinary. It also has an unusual uh, lever drive. Interesting how they just, they reverse the wheels is what exactly, they did. Exactly, just to make it safer. It made in New Jersey, by the way. All right. It's called a star. Now, heading over here, we got something a little more normal. The wheels are the same size. When did this yeah. happen? This is a pneumatic bike. Dunlap invented the, uh, the tire in 1888. A lady's bike from 1895. A lady's bike? Yeah. Now, now the design, uh, I guess, would have something well, to do with their... Well, they could wear their skirt. Uh-huh. And they had a guard right here, and, and this is all protected for the skirt. Boy, look at this. And look at this. This is wood here, this fender. Bird's yeah? eye maple. No kidding. And the Wooden rims? Wooden rims. Gosh, the value on this one? Five to seven hundred. Is it tough? This one, this one has a bell and all. Is it tough to find those accessories as well? Uh, we have them. Yeah, it's not so easy to find them. Yeah. All right. Now, this is something that really looks fancy, but I guess it didn't work as well as they thought. Great bike. Great bike. This is an Evan Rood made in Wisconsin, and it's a modern design, has a lot of features. When, when you ride this seat, it pogo's up and down with the pedals. Uh, a lot of cast aluminum, uh -huh. and uh, a great design, but they broke. They broke a lot. They broke. So these didn't work that well. They went out to dealers. Uh, the National Bicycle Museum told me that a few hundred were made, and they recalled all of them. So mm. the ones that are left are just ones that were you know, uh, the dealers didn't turn back in. And the value of this one today? Well, in our catalog, we're saying uh, nine to eleven thousand, but I really think it's going to bring fifteen thousand or more. It's amazing to see the development of the bicycle. Oh, and I know great, in great bike in the auction, you're also going to have some some memorabilia as well. It's not just bicycles. Lots of mention. memorabilia, yeah. And it's Saturday. The auction is Saturday at ten o'clock in the morning. This All right. coming Saturday. Copake, New York, and that's in Columbia County. Correct. All right. Thank you so much, Mike, for stopping by. Really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Some amazing bikes. If anybody wants to know more about this auction, you can just call us here at the show. We'll tell you everything you need to know. All right, Claire, what's next? And